Do the running quickly, hopefully. Hopefully I can actually get under three hours today. That would be sick. Okay, three, two, one, go. All right. What's up, Jupiter? How are you doing? What's up, Keegan? It's good to see you. Use the Apple earbuds as your microphone? I literally can't. Thank you. Whoa, Evelyn, thank you so much for gifting two two subs. What the heck? Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I was not ready for that. Thank you so much. That's incredibly generous. Thank you. Ah. We we just we just started the stream, so consider me not ready. Thank you so much. What's up's going over to Sigma and Pure Waffle? So the the Twitch algorithm really got it right. So too, I do remember you. But yeah, Evelyn, thank you so much. You, you can just say hi normally, but if you wanna if you wanna throw money at me, I guess that works too. All right. How's everyone doing today? It's a Tuesday. I only know how to talk with money. Wow. Okay. Well, I'm not complaining. I'm just confused. Jupiter, we're not playing this game where everyone in chat is going to go, Streamer, do you remember me? Not fun. Not fun. Hey, Ace Blind. What's up, Lemons? Family size cheez its and root beer. I'm chilling. Wow, that is an interesting combination. I can't eat snacks like that with soda. Like, I can drink soda on its own, and I can have, like, soda with meals. Like, fast foody stuff. But it's having, like, soda and, like, generic snacks. It's like, oh, it's weird. I don't, I can't quite explain it. What's up, Miguel? How you doing? So comparing against this run, we have a lot of time saving Half-Life 2 and time saving Portal 2. Well, I guess technically if I try hard enough, I have time save everywhere, but we're really looking to save like a minute in Half-Life 2, one to two minutes in Half-Life 2 and one to two minutes in Portal 2. Thanks, Frenchie. What's up, Zooch? It's good to see everyone today. No, I'm not doing Citadel of Two Skip. Have you? Are you learning that, Mackenzie? You're learning it? I mean, if you really want to go far with the game, I guess that's a good idea, but... I still don't have sub hour. I mean, yeah, I guess it's also one of those things where it saves so much time that basically as long as you get it, you save time. Over not doing it. Imagine having fun speedrunning. Hmm. This really makes you think. What's up, Gustav? And again, for those who aren't aware, Half-Life, test chamber skip, we're gonna use this cart to slope off of this right here and hit a debug trigger in the sky. Saves like two minutes. I'm taking my sweet time lining this up. Cool. What's up, Realtron? How are you doing? You stole your sister's goldfish. Are you referring to goldfish as like the the snack or like a, a goldfish is like a pet, like a pet fish? 
Because if it's if it's the snack, then that sounds like a pretty generic sibling activity. But if it's a pet, then like, dude, give give her her goldfish back. I was considering getting like a pet fish just because I'm like, I'm kind of a pet deprived person. How expensive is it to like buy and maintain? If I just want to get a fish tank in my room. How much like money and effort would that take? Like just someone I can vibe with, you know? Ooh. Ah! I'm missing this gap. Alright, there we go. Just gonna- I mean... I can't really have an- like, if it was up to me, I- I feel like when I'm older, I'd really like to have a pet bunny. Those look very cute and nice to take care of and like not too much. But um <laughs> I obviously I I am 18, so I still live with my parents. And that's like not like I am not imp I'm a student, <laughs> so that's that's completely normal. Um And we we probably would have a cat, just my my dad is allergic. And my parents have literally said they don't trust us with the respon- They don't trust the kids with the responsibility of having a dog, so... That's the current situation. Oh no, he went the other way. Yeah, Barney just walked into the grenade and then he was like, Oh! Gotta go the other way. And I'm trying to direct him with the grenade, so... So that way to the side. Oh, you need to hurry up. Okay, open the door, please. Thank you. I have barely any HP. I'm trying to catch up with Chatatad. Tutorial bunny hopping all the portal. Okay, so in Half Life 1, we have straight up bunny hopping. This is like the authentic. This is the good stuff. We're fooning. We're, you know, going down Ivy through the connector. Speed Demon. This is definitely like the coolest movement in terms of like everyone knows what bunny hopping is. Um, Half Life 2 and Portal have accelerated backwards hopping, which um is a pretty cool, well known glitch. Uh, the biggest quirk about it is that bunny hopping we gain speed linearly through strafing, ABHing we gain speed exponentially, so we reach incredible amounts of speed. The only problem is we usually do not have a ton of control over said ludicrous speed. And we're often looking backwards or to the side. Portal 2? So ABH is in Half-Life 2 and in Portal. They run on the same version of the Source Engine. Portal 2 has bunny hopping, but it's a little different. It's a lot different from Half-Life 1 bunny hopping in the fact that, um... One, you just gain less speed from strafing, so it's all in all slower. But there's also a soft speed cap. Um, obviously, you can tell in Half-Life from how fast I've been managed to going, there's no speed cap. So you can go as fast as you... Well, the speed cap is like 2,500. It's 2,000 in a direction, so like 3,000 something. If you go diagonally, but... um, There's no feasible speed cap. In Portal 2, there's a soft speed cap, where if you go like about... 1.5 times walking speed, um, you will lose, like, horizontal control of shell. This is kind of a problem. Hmm. I just want to land on top of here. That's fine. I have to take a lot of HP because I didn't edge bug, but... Throw some nades to take care of those hound eyes. There is a speed cap. Can't even, it's just really, really high. You, you would never meet the speed cap by just bunny hopping. 
Do you usually meet it when you do object boosts? I can't slip off of this button. Thanks, Liren. Hope you're doing well. What's up, Jaristan? Uh, don't die? Okay. Kind of a um, off the speed transition, but that's okay. Not everything has to be perfect. How much time is it in Half Life 2? If I PB in Half Life 2, I can save about three minutes. Which, while it sounds unreasonable, I am still pretty new to Half Life 2, so. There's kind of time save everywhere, but obviously, Half Life 2 and Portal 2 are the biggest because they are the longest. Root beer or Pepsi? I'm definitely a fan of root beer. Probably my favorite soda. What's up, fun weds? Honestly, I've never done like root beer brands taste tests because I don't, I've never had the opportunity where I've had them both side by side. And I can't, there's not a, well, there is a difference that's not distinct enough that I can easily recall which one I like better. Fall. Small fall damage. Small and fall rhymes, was that to say fall small damage? And that sentence doesn't make sense. Didn't make it through the gate with my speed, but that's fine. I am stuck. <laughs> I'm gonna have low HP, but that's okay. I do need like 40 HP here, so then you'll have full HP going to on a rail, but there there is HP coming up. Or more HP, I should say. Just to spend time getting it. How's my day going? Pretty okay. I like haven't done too much, gonna be honest, so. What's up, pea shooter? Hey, Amanda, thanks for the good luck. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's not how you do it. I just missed the ladder. Okay, let's get up to like 35 HP, 36, you know. Might need that one extra just in case. We'll redo that so we don't take as much damage. Perfect. What's up, Dragonfly? How you doing? Ow! <laughs> My grenade hurt me. Thank you. Hey, Oni, what's up? Thank you so much for the sub. It's good to see you, dude. 13 months. Fun fact, that is more than a year. I know. Yes, I am a mathematician. I know what you're saying. M. Susie, how did you do that math so fast? You must be wicked smart. No, I just have a calculator right next to me. That's why. Just pu punching the numbers. Oni, thank you so much. Welcome back to the sushi bar. Enjoy the badge. And the emotes. And not seeing ads while you're watching the channel. Because I obviously... 
you know. Obviously, play ads every single second. I'm just, you know, you know, times are tough. I, I, I need, I need the, the pennies that the ad revenue brings in. What can I say? What's up, Sammy? Uh, so I got stuck in that guy's corpse. <laughs> it happens. What's up, turret life? What's up, ASCII? <clears throat> Small little uh, self-destruct right there from Gordon Freeman. How you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Ooh. I did this really slow. Full source hasn't aged well. Yeah, the engine, I mean, when you consider this game came out 22 years ago. I mean, come on. Of course it hasn't aged well. Look at other games that came out in 1998, and you have to realize this has aged better than most of them. <laughs> Thanks, Shido. What's up, Kyrio? Hey, Parker. Why do I shoot my pistol at nothing? It's uh, to time when to go through the next map. Because there's an animation of a rocket launching in the air. And um, you can't progress until that that uh, cutscene kind of has finished out. So, if you start reloading your pistol right when that white flash happens, after letting out two whole magazines, uh, it's perfectly timed so that you'll be able to go on the next map and be able to progress. Yeah, thanks, QB. Oh, I went out too early. The Vortigaunt didn't open the door for me. There we go. Save and load so the Vortigon doesn't get me. Should I start speedrunning Portal or Portal 2? I think Portal is a ton easier to learn. Hey! <laughs> soosh, 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 soosh. Yo, Dolphin Slippers, thank you so much for uh, the resub with Twitch Prime on eight months. Thank you so much for the continued support. It's good to have you back. Yeah, if you haven't, if you don't have any speedrun experience, Portal is a super quick and easy speedrun to pick up. You can literally learn it in a day. Portal 2 has a lot more nuance and complexity. I think it's a lot more fun, Portal 2, but at the same time, it is a lot harder. Like I'm obvious, I'm biased because I obviously really like the Source Engine games. But anytime like someone wants to get into speedrunning, I always recommend Portal as a beginner game. Barney. Hi, Barney. Hope you get those head crabs, buddy. I'll see you in Half Life 2. Probably in about like 15 minutes or something. I don't know. That's not gonna make it into the pipe. Oh dear. Movement. Okay, there we go. 
about that beer I owed ya. It's me, Gordon. Barney, from the Black Mesa facility. Sorry for the show, I had to put on a... Gosh, I don't even remember the cutscene too well. Civil protection's on to me. I'm way behind on my beating quota. Yes, what is it, Barney? I'm in the middle of a critical experiment. Sorry, Doc, but... Some- look who just showed up. Gordon? Great stuff! <laughs> I can't do this. Oh gosh, I need to hit the button. <laughs> Thanks, Rook. Oh, sorry for the scare, yes. I have not... While I do know every line in Portal 2, I cannot say that I know every line in, in Half-Life 2. I don't know. Like, that's the thing. There are a lot of, like, quotes in my head when it comes to Portal 2. And, like, what makes a really good Portal 2 quote. But in Half-Life 2, the best quote will always be, If you see Dr. Breen, tell him I said... <laughs> yes. That's like the best way to start the Citadel. That whole section. What's the best Portal 2 quote? I find the entire scene where Wheatley tries to convince you to jump into a pit, that's really funny. When Wheatley's like, down in that pit there, your parents and um, and a super hunky boy band and they don't, they don't care about weight at all and um, the three portal device. <laughs> That's my favorite one just because I really like humorous quotes. But, um, you know, there are also some good, like, deep ones. <laughs> Look at the word test there on the wall. That's brand new. What's up, Corv? I'm trying to catch up with Cat. What's up, Burger? So I'm gonna say, I hope everyone's having a great day. Happy Tuesday. <sighs> Hit on the ladder, reduce fall damage. Good luck, beans. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just murked that guy. I'm so sorry. Oh, is this pipe to pipe HP? Ah, right, let's try it. <clears throat> if I can only take like literally half a second to actually set up. I have like no HP, but, and it's not helping that head crab is uh, trying to kill me. I probably actually should reload a save, honestly. We're here though now, like, I just have to not take any damage in this section. Okay, that's fine. I can survive. Just thanks for the good luck. I appreciate it. Ah, hit the door. Thanks, Adam.
You need to actually hit the button. Some for, when you come in from the back, for some reason the button will only work like when you uh when you're like right in front of it. If you're kind of behind it, like how we usually hit it in the speed run, it just doesn't work. Is this the new Mario game? Yes. This is this is the new Mario game. Ign ignore all the guns and things totally nin that Nintendo would totally put in a game. Ah uh, yes, my favorite part about Mario, the guns and the aliens. Ah uh, yes. Oh, you are really far away. They're gonna give me a problem, aren't they? Okay, this actually might be fine. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, that's one cycle. That's two cycle. That's three cycle. That's four cycles. I count my fingers. So for those who don't know, Infinite Health Door, the store deals negative one damage for some reason. Um, since there's no limit to how much damage you can take, we can get a theoretical infinite amount of HP if we just stand here. We get one HP every frame, so it adds up. And even though the HP loops over, so it looks like I only have 72 HP, um, that's just how the game displays it. We actually have like 2,500 right now. So it's more than enough for the rest of the run. Healthy boy. <laughs> Thanks to the 100, Evelyn. Very healthy boy. You should open that door. Okay, now the, the run from here now is just kind of nutty. We're just kind of boosting everywhere. We're really only limited by ammo. So if we have explosives, we're using them. Like even something as simple as a small grenade boost out of that elevator. Infinite health door is used to gain a huge amount of health points. It's a mapping error, so it's only found in the map C2A5F. This trick is very useful for the rest of the game maps in a speedrun. Since you can do unlimited damage boosts and survive. Please stop. Thanks. Thank you for the 100 bits, Jerison. I have no idea where you got that copy pasta from, but I'll take that as the script for my next video. I did not hear about the teenager that spent a ludicrous amount of money on Twitch. This is news to me. Yes, Denny, I did take 10 cycles of HP. Also, what's up, Duan? And hopefully he'll open the door, and then he'll open that door, and then we all are happy. Wiki.sourcelands.org. Oh yes, my favorite resource. What time is it there? It is currently 2.56 in the correct time zone. 2.56 PM. Oh no. <laughs> I mean, I don't need that grenade, but I do need that grenade boost. Alright, well, that's not fine, actually. So I need to get all the way up here. This is fine. Shh. 
straight over here. Perfect. I do not have... I need to make a quick save here. Just in case. No, go that way. Barney, you need to open that door. And not get in my way, but okay. What's up, Clant? No, I am East Coast. I have always been East Coast. What's up, Big Muck Muck? Back from camping. Hey, nice. How's camping? Have fun, David. Dead run? No, this one's fine. This one's probably about to... It's probably going to tie my PB about. Let me do some math. 230. Probably tie, maybe beat it by a bit. Speed hacks, mods, please. He's just going too fast. Need to look this way, buddy. There we go. Donark has been uncooperative recently, but as long as I kind of understand how, you need to be the Gonark Whisperer, you know? Gifted sub is gone. Yeah, a ton of gifted subs ran out like the past, like a week or two ago. Gonark is my cat at 3 a.m. I, I see it. Did you do Gonark teleport? No. I'm not familiar with that strategy. Tailend of Half Life here. gonna save time nice what's up cat princess yeah th this game came out in 1998 so it's um it's a thing Ooh. okay just the boss fight to go and then we'll be on to half-life 2 I might have screwed up that damage. Open. Open. Alright, there we go. That's Half-Life. No, typed quit incorrectly. Oh gosh. Ding. On straight into Half Life 2. Wake up and smell the ashes. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen. All right, we got the train clip. 
That's good. Half-Life 2, it's going to have a super hard trick in about, like, three minutes that we need to get on. Well, we don't need to get on the first try. We're just going to lose, like, a minute if we don't. Thanks, Liren. What's up, Toby? How's the run so far? Okay, okay. We had a pretty good Half-Life one. Enjoy your nap, Smiley. I will, Denny, in just a second. As you do during the starting cutscene. You know, the thing we were quoting, like, 15 minutes ago? That one. I'm gonna need me some privacy for this. About that beer I owed you. It's me, Gordon. Barney, Barney from Black Mesa. Mesa. I'm sorry for the scare. I had to put on a show for the cameras. I've been working undercover with civil protection. I can't take too long or they'll get suspicious. I'm way behind on my beating quota. Yes, Barney, what is it? I'm in the middle of a critical, critical ex or not experiment test. Why do I think it was experiment? That sounds more sciencey, you know. No, he doesn't owe me a coffee. He owes me a beer. What's up, Fruit? Hope everyone is having a great day today. I'll probably see that throughout every single cutscene. <laughs> okay, Gordon, you're gonna have to make your own way to Dr. Kleiner's lab. Oh man, that's what I was afraid of. Gordon, before you blow my car. And get through the guard. That's fine. Just gotta jump on top of him. Just gotta show him who's boss. <laughs> that guy really wanted me to watch out. You're not having a great day, you're having a fine day. I understand. Not every day can be a great day. Sometimes it's just average and like that that's okay. It's nothing wrong with an average day. Okay, this next map is where we do the skip. So we're basically gonna get a super, super duper messed up glitch state. Where um we're ba we're we're gonna fly a lot. And we're gonna try to ma manipulate the game so that our last saved position is going to be in a point in out of bound space. Um, and we wanna set it in a specific spot so that um, that spot in random out of bound space will let us skip a cutscene in the next level. Um, because the next level is like a 10 minute cutscene, it's pretty long, it's Kleiner's Lab cutscene. And we obviously want to skip that, so. But from here on out, I can't save load at all. As you can see by that flying we did earlier, we're in a glitch state now. If I save and load at all, the game will crash. It's a vibe day, I feel that, Dragonfly. I feel that. Dr. Freeman, I presume. Because the speedrun contains two half-lives, would that make the official name of the series Full Life? Hmm. It's a really good point. Thank Never you. thought about it. Pogs. Yo, Eric, thanks for the resub for three months. I appreciate it. Pogs indeed. Welcome back, dude. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for the continued support. All right, so we're just gonna get on these big invisible walls here. Try to line up on this wall here. This should be okay. This 
Hopefully if everything works out right, I just have to line up a palette in a super precise manner and we'll uh, skip a big cutscene. Who is Mr. Freeman and why does he have a half-life twice? Wouldn't that just be a whole life? I'm pretty sure it's not Mr. Freeman, I'm pretty sure it's Alex because, you know, there's the game Half-Life Alex. So the, the whole series is probably about Alex, right? Whoever that is. Okay, we're gonna take this palette, we're gonna line it up in a really precise way. And uh, then we're just gonna walk into it and hope for the best. Because uh, if we walk into this palette, if we hit any prop at all, we will teleport to that last place that we just hit. Uh, okay, as long as I don't die. Which we didn't, despite taking a good amount of fall damage. So this is a good run. Let's go, guys. Yeah, by hitting that pallet, uh, we will go in that random area out of in out of space, out of bounds, and um, we do it at the same time as we transition to the next map. So we actually go to that random point in the next map, and it's uh, perfectly set up so that we will skip that map. Let's back up a bit more. Get over that. Perfect. Now we're in root canal. And uh, we got the crowbar by doing something called save. Wow, that guy whacked me. Uh, doing something called save deleting. Basically, uh, every map in the game has what we kind of call a developer default save because the developers would go and play test individual maps when they were fixing bugs and they obviously didn't want to like play through the entire game to get everything they needed for that one section so they made default saves that had everything you needed so obviously we skipped the getting the crowbar from barney because it's really slow and we don't actually need it that map because we can use a crate to slope over the thing we need to break but we do need the crowbar later uh, so we get it here by basically making a quick save and then deleting it and then trying to load it and the game gets really confused. So um, it just uh, loads that default save and it happens to have everything we need. So it's pretty convenient. Make our way over this debris. I mean, that's how you just explain every glitch in a speedrun. The game is confused. Speedrunners just give video games identity crises. Identity crises? Is that the plural of crisis? I'm not sure. Ah! Get over that fence. navigate our way through those barnacles. What's interesting about this game is that you can't sprint in the water, but if you're sprinting before you go into water, then you can sprint in water. So, a lot of times we obviously try to sprint before we go into water because sprinting is fast. Uh, I have Muck Muck. I actually just got back from a speedrun.com mod about it, so it's it's in the process. Hi, Jarstan. I'm doing good. I'm just vibing. We're hopefully gonna get... Sub 3! Sub 3! Sub 3! Sub 3! Woo! <laughs> Why do you have to grab these barrels? Well, you see, the game is confused.
I'd prefer if you didn't blow up right there. Let's just do this. I don't I don't want that HP anyways, actually. Actually, I probably don't even need it because there's a uh, more HP on the way. <laughs> the <g> basically <laughs> the only thing you need to know about speedrunning is that the game gets confused and there's a bus that picks you up every 21 frames. Those are the two fundamentals of speedrunning. That's all you need to know. I'm always confused when I'm going through this event because it's so dark. Scanner just literally self destructed. Get in my way, lady. You're going to die in two seconds, please. <laughs> she really does more harm in the world than she does good. She just loses me like a second in my speed run and then dies. Like, come on. Ooh, that is a fling. That's fine. Okay, so coming up here, this is gonna be boatless. Really cool part of the game. Oh, I almost transferred my speed well. Normally you have a boat, but um, instead of having a boat, we have legs. Or you apparently don't have legs when you take a massive fall like that and Gordon Freeman's legs get destroyed. So we are going to get the boat here just for a second, and we're going to do a super cool glitch called the Yes Clip. So we're going to get the boat by doing that save deleting, getting that default save. We're going to line this boat up in a kind of specific area. The whole, um, what we're trying to do here is we're going to try to make it so that we will leave the boat the same time we hit the level trigger here. And if we do that, then something pretty cool will happen. We get no clip. I mean, yes clip. No clip is cheating. Yes clip is not cheating. Um, this is literally, the game kind of thinks we're in a state where we're in the boat, but we're not. It kind of thinks we're transitioning into the boat. Um, so the glitch has a couple of things. One, it gives us no clip, which makes this level really faster. It also has some really cool side effect. Oh, that was pretty nice. Has some really cool side effects, which are incredibly convenient for the speedrun. One being that Gordon can no longer take damage from bullets. He is impervious to bullet damage. Um, two being that he can now flip through walls using props, which we'll look at that a lot, a lot later on. It becomes one of the most used glitches in the run. That's actually about it. We can't take damage from bullets and props are broken. No, I need to get through this game. <laughs> Just closed on me. All right, this is much more speed. Uh, uh, we'll make this work by just landing in the water. I do want to not hit the ass a lot here. So if we could gain speed quickly, that would be great. Much better. This is a hard map because of HP routing. 
there's a, there's a huge acid tunnel right here. We want a lot of speed going into it. This should be good enough because, um, obviously with the boat, it doesn't care if you're on normal water or acid water. But, uh, on foot, we do care. So what's up, Bilbo? Can I, okay, four HP, that's more than enough. There's health right here, so. What's up, guy? This is probably like barely good enough, oh god. 11 HP, very optimal. Very optimal indeed. There is an acid tunnel at the end of the- or this- I'm just gonna get this HP right here. Even though I did have a lot of speed, it's not that bad just to kill it. I probably didn't have to get stuck in the crane, but it's okay. Hi! I'm just stopping by to say hello. Never mind. <laughs> I I will be staying I will be staying for the long haul. I thought I had a plan for that one, but I clearly don't. Okay. So that's prop clipping. And we're gonna now do this for like the rest of the run. Anytime there's a wall, ooh, <laughs> just uh, jump at it with a prop. There we go, got the launch. Cool. Really good job keeping my momentum. This is actually a lot of speed. This should be fine though. I shouldn't get too high, except I did get too high. So I lose all my speed, that's okay. Methodically make our way down so we don't take fall damage. Getting stuck in zombies. That's what happens to a lot as a result of the quick clip. Or the yes clip. We call it quick clip state because the glitch for talk clip is called quick clipping. Can I, can I get on that ledge? Oh my gosh. Uh, you also just get stuck in things a lot. Almost done with boatless here, and this is like making pretty good time. Are you guys talking about VR setups in the chat? Oh gosh, I have a lot of time to look in chat after this map, which I will hopefully get on the first, which I will hopefully get on the second try because first try is overrated. I'm gonna try to skip this airship battle by pure power of will. I, I need to fit in another ABH. I need to. I can't do it with 2,000 speed. This is much better. There we go. I want that HP.
Well, I guess I'll wait. Uh, can I? I can do that. <laughs> I can reorient the barrel like that. There we go. Uh, yeah. I was looking at buying a VR headset, and I haven't looked at too many of the options other than the Valve Index, but I was just thinking. Because I own, like, an $800 CSGO knife. So I'm like, I don't know. Like, I could just sell that and then front the rest of the money and buy it through, through Valve, but... All the other sets are extremely cheaper, but I'm also like, do I even want to get VR? Because it's pretty expensive, and it's also like not a ton of good games for it. Like, I definitely don't think it's worth buying right now, unless you just have a lot of money in it, and you play a lot of video games. But I guess this is a cutscene for like the next four minutes. So if anyone wants to say hi in chat, since I've been neglected the chat for like the last 20 minutes, you can feel free to say hi, and I will say hi back and be a live streamer. But if you say hi and you're not following, there will be consequences. So you better follow the Twitch channel. What's up, Sigma? Hey, Lemons. Hey, Box. Hey, Jarrison. Hey, QB. Hey, Dan. What's up, Waffle Waffle? I love your name so much. Jesus Christ. What's up, Wojak? Hey, Miguel. Hey, Rerun. Hey, Margaritas. Hey, Phenom. Hey, Shuck. What's up, Basher? Hey, Prooper. What's up, Crazy? Okay, so we're just gonna... <laughs> we're gonna speed up this cutscene by... A significant amount, but kind of a small amount, by clipping through all the floors while Mossman's still in the ele elevator. We're gonna go in her room. We're just gonna accelerate the cutscene just a bit. And we want Alex to come in early here, and she will come in if no one talks for a certain amount of time. Um, and Mossman will talk if she stands still. So we want her to keep moving at all costs, so we're just gonna try to block her. And if we do it well enough, we save like 30 seconds. But this is incredibly amusing. Th these are these are strats. As, yeah, this is more than good enough, I think. Yeah, there's Alex. What's up, Lettuce Tray? Does is it a good day to be an M Sushi fan? Always says yes. I mean, it says yes when it's a good day to be an M Sushi fan. That's how the website works. Just banged my water bottle on my desk. I was looking at getting an actual water bottle other than like this meme. Do, does anyone like strong stand by a water bottle brand? I'm just curious. Does any water bottle brand want to sponsor me? I mean, I'm, st I'm still on the hunt for the LK sponsorship, but... Dasani? No. Is what I would say if I had no taste buds. Okay, good. It's crazy how you can mess up water that bad. Honestly. And it's crazy because that's also like a consensus. Like, everyone's like, yeah, out of like all of the water brands out there, Dasani's literally the worst. Yeah, I saw Wazeman finish an SS round. That was really cool to see. Arrowhead? Interesting. But yeah, this one's actually pretty good so far. This run is definitely like probably PB pace for me, honestly. Remember when you had world record in Portal 2 for a day? It was like a week, but yeah. I've also that wasn't the first time I've held it, also, but yes, I do remember. What situation you're talking about? See, QB, this is the thing. You're saying that, remember when he got the Portal 2 SM world record for five minutes? I say, remember when M Sushi, who was also trying to get the world record in Slots 100%, Stop playing slots 100% for a week to play Portal 2 to get a world record. Like, God, what a chat. What an absolute alpha. That's the old passage to okay, she didn't want to get teleported. Go 
All right. We're at Sight Smash World gameplay again. We're going to skip the gravity gun by doing a prop clip to get into Ravenholm early. We don't need the gravity gun. We do need it later. Later on, we will save delete for it. But we don't need it until we get to the Citadel. So, Which is quite a ways away. Clip through this wall is what I would say if I clip through the wall, which I did. Why would I ever lie to you guys? Never. I've never lied. Thanks, Shredmill. Please don't get stuck in me. Yeah, zombies will get stuck in you. They can't hurt you. But they can get stuck in you, which is just as inconvenient. Good launch. I do not want the flashlight on, or are gonna clip through this wall. Okay, here's the uh, double grenade boost. Let's see how I do. This is good. Didn't take too long to get it. I normally suck at that, but... Alright, another cooler grenade boost. Uh, we'll barely get up here. This works, this is pretty good. Flip through the floor with this barrel. Easy. I'm not sprinting. Oh dear, that's not good. I guess it's okay, but just a tad slower. Minor fracture, boys. Minor fracture. Aim that a bit too high, but that's okay. It happens. I was worried I might take fall damage there, but that worked out. I am really struggling in the movement department on this map, but that's okay. It happens. As long as we're not struggling in the movement department in the next couple of maps, I can make up for it. Because this is where the game gets good. Okay, I guess I'll walk up this hill. So this is the coast. Normally we take the car. Car is slow, as with most vehicles in this game. So we forego the car. This section is super fast paced. The maps are super open. We can really tear them apart with accelerated backwards hopping. So that's what we will do. I'm going to try to recover this save well. Yeah, I'll make this work. That's working enough for me. Will I take fall damage here? Maybe. When have I ever taken fall damage before in this game? I don't think I ever have. Not quite. Need to uh, slope off a very particular slope here. I'm probably need to strafe more to the left. There we go. Uh, let's try this slope. 
Oh, not quite. That's fine. We'll just go around. This is very slow, though, but it's okay. Okay, really cool launch on this map. If I can... Oh, that was kind of cool. This is good. Can I get the good slope? All the way here. This ramp at the end of the map. Got it. Nice. Pretty good Highway 17. Now we're going to Sand Traps. Get this HP. I probably didn't need it, but... Ooh, that's a lot of height. Well, good thing I got that HP. Mmm, this hop pattern might be really bad. Yeah, let's reload this save. Ah, yes, the crunch of Gordon Freeman Freeman's legs dying. Okay, that's okay. A little less HP than I would like, but we can make it work if we're cautious. Three HP? That's like three more than I should have. I just completely missed my shot. Let's try not to take fall damage around here. Slope off. Ooh, beautiful. This is okay. I'd appreciate it if I could get on this ramp, though. I'm just gonna climb up these slopes and we're gonna skip a huge part of the game. Or we help like the resistance fight off ant lions. So they're on their own. Not my problem. That might be my problem though. <laughs> fall yeah, you don't wanna fall in the middle of the map because then you're sucked back into it. And I think you're also soft locked, so. Okay. We do want to get all the all the way to the end over here, though. Break our fall on this weird little edge here, and uh, perfect. We will go into the next map. That should be good enough speed. Off here, boom, boom. Oh, that is a lot of height. Can I land on this? Yes, I can. Nice. I'm not saying nice because I finished the map, but I I'm sh I'm sure Twitch chat understands. Yeah, doing that clip skips a uh, airship battle. So it's pretty nifty, pretty neat. Mmm. Didn't have quite the right angle. So yeah, prison is kind of nutty. Just because we're clipping through every single wall that exists in this level. If there is a wall between us and the end of the level, you can bet that we are clipping through it. 
and sometimes you just get stuck in tables and the table won't let you out. And sometimes you get stuck in turrets. Yeah, the, the potentials are really limitless. through that wall and now we're gonna try to clip through with this fence that works you know a lot of speed to make that work so it's pretty nice to get all right i have a lot of hp here so i don't need to stop in that room i can just go right through there we go What's up, Glicks? Hey, Kristen. We wanna grab this box. We're gonna save this box because if we do this right, we're gonna try to get all the way above the map and then clip back down into the map. Just like that. These portal turrets look weird. True. After science looking kind of different. Gotta get this paint bucket in the right orientation so I can clip through this prison grate. There we go. Up to the floor. Say goodbye to those turrets. You're coming up to another control room. Still Smiley, I literally said hi to you at the start like 35 minutes ago. Do I have HP to do this drive? Yes, I do. Big clip through the floor, take a bit of fall damage. Normally in real runs, um, you do a save load clip. But um, I'm, while saving and loading, the timer usually doesn't pass still. Oh gosh. Get off of me. Yeah, that uh, that file cabinet likes to mess with you. I don't even know what I was saying anymore. Oh gosh. Can I clip? Okay. I'm just gonna get a lot of HP. I'm gonna get like 60. Or 59. I'm a liar. I'm sorry chat. Okay, save load clips. This map is a massive cutscene, but it doesn't have to be if you're a speedrunner. So we're gonna try to clip into a turret chamber. And if we do it successfully, um, normally there's like a scene in this room where you have to, where you realize Mossman's a spy and then you have to defend from the combine. I'm not sure if that was void clip or not, but oh well. I think I was like stuck inside the no draw. We're gonna block this console here, and that's important for the way we do this cutscene. I need you to not kill Eli. Is he dead or still alive? He's alive. I'm just not con quite convinced I blocked the console well enough, so I will take this time to redo it. And now I just have to entertain this guy. Cool. So normally Monster reveals she's a spy, and that takes forever. And then you have to do this defense scene where you wait for the elevator to go up. 
by clipping at the turret chamber and activating the turrets early, we kind of do both at the same time. So the elevator is rising up and this cutscene is happening. Normally Alex is here, that she can progress without Alex, which is funny. And uh, yeah, normally a ton of mobs, mobs, it's just Minecraft or something, normally a ton of enemies spawn. But these first three guys that spawn over here, as long as one of them stays alive, it'll kind of hold off the horde. So as long as we keep this guy entertained, he will be the only enemy alive. I don't take damage because earlier in the run I did a trick called Yes Clip, which basically... It kind of deletes one of my hitboxes that's responsible for like calculating bullet damage. Did he? Okay, I was gonna say, did he kill himself? But no, he just threw a grenade on top of his, uh, his ally. Alright, once this uh, elevator starts flashing colors, oh, that grenade can hurt me though, so. Okay, and then next time it flashes red, we'll take this off, and now we should be all good. How's up, Bartho Gamer? I'm doing pretty good. Hope you're doing well as well. <laughs> but yeah, the biggest threat here is if this guy kills Eli, the game soft locks, so. He can't kill Mossman. So, because yeah, normally this whole cutscene doesn't, where did he go? Oh, hi. Normally this cutscene doesn't take place while they are combine here, so the game doesn't know how to react when the NPCs die, but it's pretty funny. Yeah, he's trying to get one of the turrets, but you can't, you can't get them, dude. You can't get them. Now he's inside of me. Ah. <sighs> Oh, he's no longer inside of me. That's nice. I know, fun fact, since we, uh... Since we clipped through walls with props, we actually can't ride this elevator up normally. So we're going to use an explosive boost to actually transition to the next level. Because you'll see here, if we just hop on the elevator... Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Artho. I, uh... Yeah, that, no, that just sucks. No, no way to cut it any other way. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. Elevator rises through me. I'm gonna try to throw a grenade and pick it up. Except I can't pick it up for some reason. Alright, here we go. Land right here. Alright, this should be fine. Well, that's good to hear at least that it wasn't out of the ordinary per se. But it's still, regardless. <laughs> Again, you can't, oh, you can't make it. It's no matter how well you cut it, it sucks. So I'm sorry to hear that, dude. I'm gonna skip that cutscene by clipping through some walls. I'm gonna try this try. We'll see how it goes. There we go. I learned that cause I sucked so much at the easy strat. So I'm like, if I'm gonna fail, I should at least learn the hard strat. I'm gonna try to clip through this fence and I'm struggling a lot. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Not too hard, was it? Avoid the hoppers. Real wholesome chat hours, yeah. Nah, it's just... Loss of a family member sucks. There, there's no other way to put it, so... I'm, I'm really sorry to hear that. Good boosts. Okay, 
Okay, let's see if we can slope off of this car. That's pretty good, right over the fence here. And again here, normally there's a huge cutscene where you wait for these, as you can hear from the music, pre pretty epic, pretty intense. Uh, it's really anticlimactic when we just uh, flip through the wall, if I can get this. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, normally we have to fight off the combine while that guy gets explosives or whatever. This guy just keeps getting stuck in me. Okay, there we go. Finally. Come through some more walls, and guess what? Guess what? Guess what we're gonna do now? We're gonna grab this guy. Clip. Oh, we're gonna miss the clip. There we go. <laughs> oh, that's not working. This should be better. Yep, clip through the floor. SMG nade boost over that barrier. Take one point of fall damage. Oh gosh. I just got a ricochet to the run. Explain how I speed on ricochet. Oh my god, Alex is getting stuck in me. Yeah, we can just jump through these doors. Pretty cool. Okay, that tire clip is usually really annoying, but we made it through. Can I please get a scroll? Okay, I guess I suck at that. to walk more before doing this grenade boost. Oh gosh. Barely missed it. There we go. Much better. Finally making it up there. Jeez. Oh my god, Alex is right in the way. Alex! What are you doing? Can't you see how fast I'm going, Alex? Just clearly not fit for the speedrun. Imagine speedrunning Half-Life Alex like this. Oh my gosh, you'd probably hurt yourself. Okay, really cool trick here. Set up a little contraption in this corner, line this up, shoot an SMG nade. We'll clip through the wall with some speed. And uh, yeah, that map's a breeze. I mean, yeah, the speedrun for Half-Life Alex is super cool. And uh, you definitely get a workout while doing it. I know it's, uh, it's gonna be run at the next uh, GDQ. So if you're interested, I'd recommend checking it out. My my friend Buffet Time is going to be running that, so I, I can recommend. Oh my god, <laughs> I need to hit the staircase. I need to actually walk off of it. Mm. Oh wow, that was good movement, except for when I hit the, the NPC. Hi Combine. Hi Combine.
Oh gosh. Got through that guy. Barely made it over that wall, okay. Nice clip. This run is actually really good. Rocket jump strats. This one's pretty hard, so. Ugh. I need to make a good hop off of that center pod there and I can get right to the end of the level. I'm really struggling. Oh no. There we go. Okay, awesome. What's up, Shane? How you doing? What the heck is I what does IPD stand for, Mackenzie? I'm not familiar with VR setups, so. My my main speed game is Valve. Hmm. Interpopulary distance. Okay, in English, please. In English, please. Can you say you're cute for the VOD? Mr. Miguel 211 is cute. How far apart your pupils are. Interesting. I can say why that'd be important, but see the thing is, I actually don't know how much real time is left in the run, but usually it's about 10 minutes of game time from here on out. I feel like this run, it Definitely, well, I haven't finished it yet, but I feel like it definitely would have PB'd of how would have been a Half-Life 2 PB And I feel like it might have been sub hour if I had game time on but I will uh, I will never know I got a big head so my IPD might be big Nothing wrong with a big head Oh, I guess if, if you're wearing glasses, yeah, you'd need like all the information about your face. I can see that being incredibly important. Time to enter genocide in a mode? Nah, we just got the super gravity gun. It's chill. How big am Susie head? I have not measured my head. But I'd say my head is pretty average sized. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so we just have like three more tricks left in the run. One of them is right here. There's this uh, field that's going to try to take away all our guns, and if we get to the edge of it, we can keep any gun we want. But we want to keep the rocket launcher so we can do some rocket jumps. And by some, I mean one. So. And it saves 10 seconds, but it saves time, so we're doing it. Okay, so we're just going to... Where is the rocket launcher? No, that's not gonna work. That's much better. It's kind of random how the guns spatter out, so you never really know where to look, but you just hope it gets right in front of you when you grab it. Alright, so here's that one rocket jump. Alright, that was it.
Not that orb. Gordon, you're jeopardizing this entire operation. Alright, speaking of orbs, here's one of the other cool tricks left, orb launch. Gonna grab this, put it here, grab an orb, if everything goes right, do the numbers, punch them again. We'll get just enough height to get up here and skip that elevator. Easy clap. I don't know how I- did I slope off of a corpse or something? I've never seen that before. Oh, I need to hit the triggers change level. I'm like, wait, what? And I'm like, oh, I'm too fast. A common problem when you're as good as video games as me, you'll go too fast. Yeah, it kind of sucks, but... That's basically Half-Life 2. I'm just kind of vibing now. This should... This would have been a Half-Life 2 PB, so... Probably a 100 flat, but... Not an awful run, and I'm more than happy to carry this run into the Portal games. I'm feeling really, really good about Sub-3. Really, really good. Yeah, if you're at the edge of that uh, Fizzler room, I guess I'll call it, where they take away all your weapons, if you're at the edge of it, you can actually pick up weapons, so... Sub three, sub three. I mean, I'm only halfway through, but generally the half the half lives are harder than the portal games for me. So, Monka S lemons, yes, I know. I still haven't learned the the portal two lemonade skip, so that's something on the bucket list. This is the kind of run where, like, my power goes out during it. It's like, haha, funny. You thought you were gonna PB. You thought you were gonna. Your go you thought you were gonna get your goal time. How cute. Yeah. This is this is gonna be a pretty pretty good PB. I'm getting much better at Half-Life 2. Don't struggle, it's no use. Until you're where he wants you, there's nothing you can do. I'm sorry. What was my PB? My PB is about a 105 of real time. But this is going to be a 104 real time, so. Unless I just completely muff the last trick. But yeah, there is technically like one level left. Um, but we skip it because we get the yes clip glitch. We call it Breen Blast. Right when Breen blasts you with the, the blue gravity gun, if you save and load a ton, uh, you get no clip. So, that that's like the game. And then we just have no clip, so the ending is a joke. But yeah, this was actually a really good Half-Life 2 run for me. First you lead me straight to the doorstep of my oldest friend, then you deliver yourself. If I'd known you were going to come straight up to my office, I wouldn't have bothered... It's probably really close to sub one hour game time. It's either a 100 or a 59. This, this definitely would have been a PB if I had game time going, but... Oh no, is there a way I can check... Uh, with ghosting mod? I mean, yeah, I, I probably should Malta, but I don't right now, <laughs> so. Is there a ghosting mod command that, like, tracks it even? I can just turn on the ghosting mod timer, right? Right before I finish. GH time 1, I'm gonna plug that right in before I close Half-Life 2. I think it's gonna be a super low 100, though, knowing my loads.
But thanks, Zach. By the power invested in me and my awful speedrunning skills, I blessed us from the sub three potential. Not even guaranteed sub three, just sub three potential. It's not penis. If it's zero, then you did something wrong. Yeah, probably, but. How dare you even mention her? Might as well try. I mean, probably won't submit it, but. Obviously, it's just good to know. Okay, that's not what I said, Jaristan. I said, what's up, heinous? Maybe I should, uh, talk a bit more. Or talk a bit slower. Call you Linus. Got it. This one has proven to be a That'll uh clear up some future confusions. How about it, Doug Freeman? Did you realize your contract was open to the highest bidder? Gordon would never make any kind of deal with you. I understand if you don't wish to discuss this in front of your friends. I'll send them on their way and then we can talk openly. Don't stop running. Dad, I'm so sorry. Alex, see that. Yeah, hopefully. I'm much more consistent on the Portal games, so... Well, this is my best Half-Life D-Rust and my best Half-Life 2 run, so it was a super high 33 and this is probably a low 100. Which, like, if you actually run both the... Like, for people like Malta and Wayzone, I'm sure they can get them a lot better, but for most people, it's pretty good. I guess the only, like, people who both speed on, who are both good at Half-Life 2 and Half-Life 1 are, like, Wayzone, Malta, and Alex, so... I did fruit, yeah. It's in process of getting leaderboard. This is gaming. I missed it. We'll have to try again. Wait. Did I crash? I was getting a long load. I should do 14 Malta. First try, easy. All right, it's it's all in the bag. I probably just lost like 50 seconds to that, but that's okay. So yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys remember this from your casual playthrough when you flew through all the walls to, to finish the game. A classic Half-Life moment. What's up, Keeper Funny? You came out a bad time? We're just finishing an insane Half-Life 2 run, so no, not really. Come on, Gordon. Let's go. We've got to get out of here. Great Half-Life 2 run. Let's go to sub 3. Okay, so it was actually a mid 101, I guess. So, according to that timer, but that's really weird cuz then that would barely be a PB. My loads this must have been off the charts then. Where is my, okay. I accidentally deleted the file, I guess. Hold on. Yeah, I guess then my loads are just wicked fast today. I don't know. Let me change my game. Okay. 
portal time. Yep, yep, yep. And yeah, thank you for the 100 bits, Evelyn. I appreciate it. Sorry, I didn't really acknowledge it. How would anyone know you just didn't activate no clip there? You bring up a good point, but... I don't know, I guess if you really want to sneakily put a, bu put a bind, you could, but it would be uh, a little difficult. Inflame is the type of guide use a vault save in a marathon run, true. I feel like I'm lagging a tad, but I don't know. Does the does the game look fine on stream? Barely made it through that door. Looks fine on stream, okay. Then maybe I'm just freaking out. We'll do our best with what we're given. Portal is obviously the shortest game in this run, so... This is inbounds, no save load abuse. <laughs> it's only important that I look good. True, true. How does my hair look today, chat? What do we think? Perfect. My hair is not perfect. Not awful. Well, thank you for being honest, Envies. Thank you for being honest. So stupid. All right, Malta. Emancipates dental feelings, crowns, toothy enamel, and teeth. Okay. Portal gun acquired. It's okay, Malta. I understand. I'm surprised you didn't bully me too much during my Half-Life 2 run. Alright. Surgeon the portal just fine. Reminded to subscribe with Twitch Prime. Um, something something follow the channel. Something something join my Discord. Something something follow me on Twitter. Uh, I, don't think, I don't think I'm missing anything other than that. The rest of this run hopefully should just be cruising to a sub 3. Uh, f for those curious, I have about 300 hours, 300 to 400 hours logged in Half-Life. Um, and I just learned Half-Life 2 like two weeks ago, the speedrun. Portal, I have about 700 hours in and I've held the world record for every category. Portal 2, I have about 3,000 hours in and I've held the world record in every category. Not at the same time, but I've held the world record in every category, so... I am definitely much more of a portal boy than a Half-Life boy, but anything can happen. Don't forget to smash that like button. True, true. Oh yeah, did I say subscribe to my YouTube channel? Because subscribe to my YouTube channel. Guys, I am so sad. I am just about to hit more YouTube subs than Twitch followers. That's so weird. Oh, so yeah, so here in Portal, um, it's the same abh as in Half-Life 2, just it's a lot more restricted because we're in small corridors instead of big open maps, so. What's up, Yoi? Best Portal streamer right here? True, true. Yeah, that, that sounds right, Malta. He has a lot more YouTube subs than Twitch subscribers, or Twitch followers. No lemons, I will not bong the bottle. Oh heck yeah, thanks G player. Please know that we have added a consequence for failure. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory remark on your official testing record. 
Tell my YouTube subs to follow me on Twitch. I, whatever like next video I put on, it's it's whatever. I'll I'll figure out a way. Yo, make sure to ring the bell on YouTube. I'm curious. Does anyone here actually like have YouTube notifications on for their for their favorite YouTube channels? Is that a thing people do? <laughs> Thanks, Mark. What category is this? This is inbounds no save load abuse. Cause I personally have never rung the bell in my entire life. I oh, know. I guess I'm also I'm also like not subscribed to a ton of channels. So if I'm subscribed to someone and they put out good content, like I'll find it eventually. You now my sub box is never too cluttered that I'll always find what I want. Like I don't know. I, there's never been a time where like if someone posted a video, I'm like I need to watch this right now, or like I wouldn't be aware that it's going on. And because normally too, like YouTube will recommend me good stuff that I want to watch. It's pretty good about it. Good cube throw. I had 170, got that onto 150-ish. Indies, are you talking about channels you're subscribed to or subs that you have? <laughs> So if you're talking about your subscribers, that's really funny. I turn notifications on for people who produce top tier content. For example, msushi100, true. Very true, fruit. I mean, YouTube recommendations are good in my eyes because they recommended my video to a ton of people, so I am a fan. Is required or will be provided. Do this fling. Peek some portals. Easy. So there we see him shot into an observatory room and we did something called a portal bump. If you shoot a portal on top of another portal, the portal will be placed by its side, and the game doesn't care if there's a wall in its way. It will still put that portal, and we will actually completely abuse that glitch in the next chamber because we're going to portal bump up top here, and then we're going to do it again to get through some glass and just completely skip this chamber. Well done, Android. The Enrichment Center once again reminds you that Android Hell is a real- I mean, no, that was just a super cool experience because for those who don't know, I have two, like, Portal 2 glitch explanation videos. And right now, like, one's a couple over 200,000 views and the other one is a little bit below 200,000 views. And it was so cool that, like, you know, after a week of putting this video up, it just gained a ton of traction for no reason. I was just like, how does this work? It was so... Interesting to like look at all this. Wow. This orb is not in the best spot, but we'll make it work. Oh, yikes. Those things kill you, Shell. Shell. I need to work on actually pronouncing Shell's name right. Oh, where is this cube? <laughs> really struggling. Struggle city. Oh my gosh. More quickly than any test subject on record. Congratulations. Alright, this isn't that fast, but hopefully we can uh, make it work. I mean, we still have the harder part of the game left, but... Just by looking at the numbers, I feel like I'm going to lose a small amount of time. Where is this portal? I'm stuck. Yeah, we're not doing too great, but it's okay. 
for your own safety. Do not destroy vital test apparatus. Well done. Be advised that the next test requires exposure to Yes, you found my address. I live in Struggle City on 420 Simp Boulevard. Please attend an enrichment center electrical safety seminar. Nice. This this chamber is just like crazy. We're doing a ton of really complicated glitches. Notably the large angle glitch where if we go through a slanted portal, <laughs> the game gets really confused and uh, plops you out basically in a random spot. But we're able to manipulate that random spot. So we just go right to the end of the level pretty easily. In this chamber is just a lot of really fast portal shots. Turret flippy skippy tricky. First try, getting this turret right here. And if we put it right here, it'll shoot through this glass for us. You gotta shoot through the other glass too, dude. Oh dear. Well, if you win some, you lose some. I need you to focus on me. He unfortunately, the turret did not want to shoot through the second layer of glass, but it happens. Or no, I'm actually saving a good amount of time if I get this last chamber correctly. At a cute angle glitch, this is very similar to the large angle glitch. Basically just a wrong warp. But we just shoot a portal when we go through this portal and we end up in Gladys's chamber. Black magic. Okay, this is actually really good. I thought this was going to suck, but the late game was okay. Should save some more time. And we're going to edge bug into the incin- or edge glitch into the incinerator. This guy- okay. Portal 2, portal 2, portal 2, portal 2. Portal 2, Portal 2, Portal 2. Let's go! This is some really good pace. Yeah, I just have to finish out a mediocre Portal 2 run and we'll be good. Good morning. You have been in suspension for... 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates... <laughs> no, I'm not going to play Portal Bridge Constructor. I know I'm not playing... I'm not playing the Half-Life episodes. I'm not playing TF2. I'm not playing Left 4 Dead. I'm sorry that the run is called Valve Series, even though it isn't every Valve game ever to be released. That's just what I'm calling it. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting. All right, so the start of Portal 2 is a cutscene. First five minutes are pretty chill. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. Half Life Lost Coast? Ah, oh, yes, my favorite game. You now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance. When will you add Portal 3 to the run? When Portal 3 comes out. I I'm happy to play that game. Good. Now, please return to your bed. It's because the game hates you, Clant. Good morning. You have been in suspension for... Nine, 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 n
Are you okay? Are, are you... Don't answer that. I'm actually sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Yeah, I don't know if I did something, but my mouse kind of feels sluggish. I feel like V-Sync is on or something, but... I should be able to man it up for a Portal 2 run. As long as I adjust to it. My favorite game is Dave Defeat Source. Ah, yes. Will they do another? I'm sure if... I'm sure they're more than capable of making another non-VR game, but VR is just very, it's, uh... Yeah, it's an unexplored field. So... It's, uh... I'm sure it piques the interest of game developers. Ooh, please. quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case... Can you add an artifact? I'm sorry, what's artifact? Never heard of it before. Alright, uh, although if you do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling, because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain cancer. Yeah, that's true too, when Valve also sells the hardware, you make a lot of money off of VR. Just tell me, just say yes. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just jumped. But never mind, say Apple. Apple. Okay, you know what, that's close. Okay. Just hold tight. Now we're just gaming. All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. And by gaming, I mean sitting still for the next two minutes. Okay, look, so, what's up, JD? Yeah, I'll ask again since there is some downtime and I know a lot more people are here now. Since I'm not too good at. Well, I'm good at checking chat during Portal 2, but if you guys want to say hi, I will say hi back. Spirit in Black Mesa. While being on Steam, Black Mesa isn't technically released by Valve, so yeah. What's up, Lemons? Hey, Swezzy. Long time no see. What's up, Inflame? Hey, Glix. Hey, Sigma Waffle. Hi, Mark. You, you should only... You're really, you're really going overboard on the highs. Don't go slow. I'm gonna try not to. What's up, Lawful Waffle again? What's up, Miguel? Hey, Linus. Hey, Evelyn. What's up, Puppy Doge? Let me change it up. Bye. Okay. Okay, then. I see. The cold shoulder. What's up, Lil Stugan? Welcome back, Swezzy. Okay, listen, we should get our story straight, alright? If anyone asks, and no one's gonna ask, don't Can we take a moment to appreciate our awesome Portal 2 looks? Yeah. I mean, what, 2011? Dang. Alright, not dead. Okay, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment if Portal 2 looks so good, why is there no Portal 2 2? Hmm. Hi, crazy. Yo, even if I did Portal 2 first, I wouldn't use containerized save. I run the games in order of their release dates. And if I were to put a game first, it would be Half-Life 2. It'd probably be Half-Life 2, Half-Life, Portal 2, Portal. So, yeah. Okay, no, this feels fine. It was just the cutscene. And again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are Sub three hours, hopefully, Intel. That's the plan. I just need like a 102 game time, so I have like three minutes of leeway over my PB. Portal 2 is obviously probably my most consistent game out of all four, but it's also one of the longest, so. Environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. Cube and button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a, in a dire, dire emergency. So I guess for those who haven't seen a Portal 2 run before, which probably isn't too many people because Portal 2 is my most streamed game, but um... A big thing to say, there's bunny hopping, it has a soft speed cap so we're not going crazy fast, it's very uh, manageable. Portal 2 is interesting in that these elevators at the end of every level, there's a cool quirky thing where um, the game will not take you to the next level until the, dial the dialogue has finished talking. Um, so for a lot of levels, uh, we're often, there's a huge downtime at the end, so we're just waiting to go into the elevator. Like right now, it's not any faster to go in now, so no need to. 
So for a lot of chambers, the goal isn't actually to solve the puzzle, it's to trigger the end dialogue. And if we can do that faster at all, we will opt to do that, because it will save us time. What's up, Azer? Thanks for the good luck. So like right here, we're actually gonna stop at the edge of this office here. Because if we walk off at a certain time, which I'll do right here. Uh, the Wheatley will actually interrupt the announcer. So now the announcer says this line early. So we'll end up going to the next level faster. What's up, Protal? How does that flick that gives you acceleration work? Basically, um... You accelerate faster when you go in multiple directions, so instead of going forward, we basically go to the left and forward. And I kind of flick my mouse in the opposite way so that I kind of adjust for where I'm looking. But yeah, we're basically accelerating in two directions instead of one, which is slightly faster. But generally speaking, in the Source Engine, the circular motion just gives you speed if you hold a directional. If the Enrichment Center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from... Well done. Grabbing that cube, pretty easy. These first couple of chambers are a bit simplistic because we only have one portal. ...personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic, low-power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. <laughs> By the game getting confused, yes. That's how every trick works. The game gets confused. Principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future. I grab this cube. And this next chamber, we're gonna do a cool glitch. There's a button here. Normally, we'd put a cube on it. But by walking over the edge of it, the door will actually stay open. And this is because if we're only on the button for one frame or one tick. The game doesn't actually have time to register that we've left the button, so it just sticks it open. Uh, I could glitch, yes, because I am recording demos. Does that work on all buttons? Not every button. It's actually really complicated what buttons it works on. I'm going to interrupt that idea, though, to do another glitch. I'm going to do a very precise lineup, and if I get everything correct, we're gonna shoot through that door. Those door models have a super small hole in them, and just by shooting through them, we can uh, skip like a minute and a half of a cutscene here. How is this discovered? Happy little accidents. And now we have another cutscene here, more or less after some bunny hopping. She will probably kill us if, if she's um, awake. Okay, I'm gonna leave the cards on the table. I don't want to do it. I don't want to go in there. Don't, don't go in there. Don't, she, she's off. She's off. Don't panic over. She's off. All fine. Call me down. There she is. What a nasty piece of work she was, honestly. Like a proper mania. Ah! Oh, still held. Still being held. You, that's a great job. You, ah! I just, sorry, I just looked down. All right. Now we're gonna turn on GLaDOS, this whom we just killed, like, problem. ten minutes ago, but... Look for a switch that says Escape Pod. All right, don't touch anything else. Not interested in anything else. Don't touch anything else. Do you jump with spacebar? No. I use I use scroll wheel. To time my bunny hop. It says it's spacebar, but that's just because it's the easiest way to convey jump. Jumping. You understand. Can you see it anywhere? Don't turn her on, idiot. It's too late, Spitta. It's too late. Also, what's up, like this? Let there be light. That's uh Hopefully this will be the sub three. <laughs> I I have a lot of uh, a lot of leniency here. This should slow it down. No, it makes it go faster. Uh -oh. Thanks, Lightning Reed. But yeah, more cutscenes. Okay, don't panic. Right. It's like another minute and a half till we actually get to play again. So, Gladys will wake up. A, 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 um, 
In the meantime, I will remind you to follow the Twitch channel if you like speedruns. Uh, make sure to, to, to like my YouTube channel, or no, like my Facebook page that I don't have yet, but I, I might have in the future when I move to Facebook Gaming. Since <laughs> Twitch is taking a month and a half to get my partner application back. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. That was a joke, I love Twitch. Twitch is a lot of fun, follow me on Twitch. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, join my Discord, follow me on Twitter. Socials, socials people. Listen, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you. I spend multiple hours a day playing video games and I want validation. And if my internet numbers are bigger, I get more validation and my ego gets bigger and I just, I, I just need it, man. I need the bigger numbers. All right, it's, I'm gonna be honest. Dang it, I hate speedruns. Sorry, Swazzy. What's up, Worms and Mustard? There's just one small Thank thing you. we need to take care of first. <laughs> Worms and Mustard, basically, it's just a fast way to accelerate uh, speed for bunny hopping. Think of it as we're kind of... We're looking down and we're... um Kind of looking at an angle so that we can accelerate in two directions instead of just one, so... Evelyn, thank you so much for falling for the bait and gifting us up to Miguel. Absolute mad lad, I appreciate it so much, thank you. You've, uh, really... The monetary support has been a lot lately, so I appreciate it a lot. The dual portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing, just like old time. But good, you have the dual portal device. Oh, shot that portal wrong. I'll just move that out of the way for you. The bigger the numbers, the faster the run. Well, for speedrunning, it's actually the opposite. You want a lower number. I have not played Ponytown, no. I mean, I think the Half-Life 2 speedrun is the most broken, because we can prop clip and all that. But, um... Obviously, Half-Life is the most inherently broken game because it came out 22 years ago. I forgot how good you are at this. You should pace yourself, though. We have a lot of tests to do. Sushi gets subs. Sushi feels the pressure to do well. Sushi messes up more. Fans give subs to Sushi out of pity. Oh, gosh. Favorite movie? Oh, gosh. I don't watch a lot of movies. Uh, recently, I just saw the... Well, the horror the mystery film, film Knives Out, and I thought it was super good. You are a the extent of a lot of my movies... A I've watched a lot of the classics, like I've... Things that come to mind that I like a lot, Back to the Future was super good. I watched all three of those, but the first one is the best. Um, Shawshank Redemption, super good movie. But I've also like watched like every Disney movie. <laughs> that's, that's about it, really. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to- Yeah, thank you for the 100 bits. How did I discover the wonderful, amazing M. Sushi Purple? I actually just think it's one of the default colors in paint.net, but... Oops. One moment. Miguel, we're not there yet. You are navigating these test chambers faster than I can build them. Was there a point when it was thought it was impossible to beat this game in under an hour? Oh yeah, for sure. When I first got the world record for this game, it was one hour, three minutes, and 45 seconds. And if you told me at the time that I would cut off four minutes off of that run and get a sub hour, I'd call you crazy. And then you'd have to call Crazy Hal and find a lot of route improvements, and it ends up working out. But yeah, when I say in Portal 2, the goal is to trigger the end dialogue, not beat the chamber. That's showcased a lot here. We're gonna put that camera on the button, and you'll notice that us will start talking. To play the ending dialogue, the game checks if there's a physics object on that button. Normally, that's supposed to be a cube, because if you put a cube on the button, you finish the chamber. But a camera will do this, just the trick. Gladys will talk faster. And uh, putting that hey, camera so on that button actually saves, like, 10 seconds. Oh, Yo, what's up, Source? Well, I feel like if I use my brain power correctly, you ended stream early. I think. 
by myself. If, if, as Source28's number one fan, I wouldn't know a streaming schedule. You did? Well, well, I hope, whatever it is, I hope you're, you're feeling good. Sorry. And whatever happened in stream. You're obviously hoping it's for time constraint and not for, like, physical or mental reasons, but regardless, I hope you're doing well. Not feeling like great? Yeah, it happens. And you're, you're super committed to a stream schedule, so obviously every day doesn't work out, so I respect it a lot. For those coming in, this is the Valve series run. I'm trying to beat Half-Life, Half-Life 2, Portal, and Portal 2 in under three hours. And applying I don't muff Portal 2 so hard. They're too hard, this should be it, so... Gotta break a few eggs to make an omelette. True, true. No lemons, I can't. So I'll say hi to everyone in just a second. After we do this cool trick. Called the Super Reportal. When you shoot a portal, you get a push. So we get stuck in the ground and shoot a ton of portals. And then we get a very big boost, so... Just skip that chamber. This one is broken. I'm gonna say hi to people. Hi Eden, hi Bevo, hi Source again. Hi Wham, hi Quote. Hi Goat. It is incredibly- I don't- actually I think they're the same, uh, the same noise files. The train at the start of Half-Life 2 and the one GLaDOS uses there. I'm actually not 100% sure though. What's up Gobby? Hey Sunset Juice. Hey, Lemons. Are, are we playing this game again where everyone says hi to me? Yeah, actually, the more I think about it, I think they're the same audio noises, but... Nice! What's up, Speed Nintendo? Yeah, me neither, dude. I just got here. I just managed to walk into my room and I was like, huh, minus 327? Guess that's okay. You know, I just got off watching Source 28 in my home theater with my 80 inch projector. Is 80 inches big? I don't think so for a screen. Who knows? I think that is a big screen, but like small for a home theater, I feel. I don't know. It's a really hard trick, Goat. I can't recommend too much other than practice, practice, practice. Which I know is not the answer you want to hear. Oh, this chamber's pretty cool. New trick called the panel fling. I'm gonna try to drop this cube at the perfect time. So that when we hop onto this faith plate, this platform will angle us upward. Except we're bad, so it doesn't quite do what we want. So we'll try again. This is not a good save, but... And I'll tell you about the time I saw a deer again. You can make it work. That's much better. Well, Fling straight off that know. panel into the end with the cube. I didn't see the deer today. I did see some humans. What's but up, Ken Man? I've got more test subjects than I'll ever need. Source is on your 55-inch projector street screen. Nice, dude. Nice. Ah! Hitting the wall. Bridges are made from natural light that I pump in from the surface. If you rub your cheek on one, it would be like standing. Alright, the only thing cool in this chamber is the cube through glass. We're gonna put a portal right next to glass and then we're gonna shove a cube through it. Because the game thinks the cube is going through the portal when it's actually going through glass. <laughs> Pretty cool. Speaking of which, I was researching. Favorite game from Valve? To answer that question a bit late worms, uh Portal 2 for sure. Did you guess sharks? Because that's wrong. The it's not saying I. No I also I love the Half Life series and the first Portal game, but I just I am attached to Portal Two. There's not too much else I can say. I figured out what to do with all the money I save recycling. I actually have not read the final hours of Portal Two. You die, I'm going to laminate your I'm not too too invested in the lore more than I am actually playing the game, but also yeah, this chamber is pretty cool. We did a cutscene skip there by bunny hopping through the malfunction door, and uh, some clever portals gets us a good fling to the end. No herbs. I'm sure a lot of people like Portal One over Portal Two, but 
How do you discover all these glitches? Oh gosh, I definitely, I don't discover them. I just hear about other people discovering them and then use them. Um, this game's been around for 10 years almost. And there are a lot of dedicated routers who just try things out. I think some of the Portal 2 source code is out there. I'm actually not sure. I think it's an older build though. Yeah, RO, I agree. The uh, the old Apture section is super cool in this game. To maintain a constant testing cycle, I simulate daylight at all hours. I'm hitting so many walls. Yeah, I think Portal 2 has better characters and more content, so I like it for that reason. But like Portal, I think Portal is better as a puzzle game, as a bare bones puzzle game. I think it's a lot better. Well, I've been working on a belated birthday present for you. But I like Portal 2 overall as a video game. Medical procedure. Well, technically, it's a, it's medical, a medical experiment. experiment. What's important? What's up, Monsieur? Present. How you doing? Actually, looking forward to Half Life 2. I got a crazy Half Life 2 run this time around. On other people, it looks fine. Like in this run, if I had a game time on, it would have been a pretty sizable PB. But like at least 30 seconds, but I'm not gonna th throw source. This run's actually really good. You can always rewatch the VOD, it'll be up on my YouTube channel, exclamation point YouTube. Unless I somehow don't sub through this. Ooh, ooh, this is fun, okay? Since this is a YouTube video, Applying, I don't buff it. Muff it? Not buffing it would be a good thing. I don't muff it. You know, I always like looking at the watch time for uh, speedrun videos. Because for the first 10 minutes, it's like pretty reasonable and then just plummets. And everyone checks in again at the end of the run. So if you're watching at this point in the run, go, go down in the comments and comments. Just comment, I like buttercream ice cream. No, butter butternut ice cream. Comment, I like butternut ice cream. And then you'll you'll know if you're a real one, okay? It says this next test was designed Everyone else is gonna be like, why are you talking about ice cream in the comments? I don't, I don't think I've even had butternut ice cream before. I don't even know if butternut ice cream is a thing. But for the sake of making an inside group, if you're watching the YouTube video and you're actively listening, you like butternut ice cream, okay? I mean, that's true, and if you're watching it on the stream, you're even more of a realer one. So, like, you guys like butternut ice cream without even saying it. It's crazy. It just works like that. Initiating surprise in three, two, yeah, that's true. There's the real ones, and then there's the realer ones. I made it all and by that, I mean Pace Pals. What? Surprise. What's up, Cajun Mayor? Oh, come on. If it makes you feel any better, they abandoned you at birth. So I very seriously doubt they'd even want to see you. Alright, here we're gonna try to do the Jerry skip. We can click this elevator and skip a 40 second cutscene, but it's a very precise lineup and it's just a really precise trick, so it might take a couple of tries. Not quite close though. There we go, second try is really good. Hey, going? Bye Wheatley. It's going good, thanks for asking, but I'll talk to you later. Well, you know the old formula. Comedy equals tragedy plus time. And you have been asleep for a while, so I guess it's actually pretty funny when you do the math. Cool, strafing right towards the end. Yeah, Mark, this run is going pretty good. That's usually how it is, Aro. It's audience, audience retention is pretty hard. Yeah, Worms, I mean, that's what happens when you practice it for hundreds of thousands of hours. <laughs> laser switch glitch there. If all of the three lasers are active for just a single frame, 
things objectively. The game will let us through the door, so it just works. By spazzing our mouse. It just works, TM. I've got a surprise for you after this next test. Not a fake project surprise like last time. A real surprise with tragic consequences. What's going on? Who turned off the lights? Small skip here by getting behind Wheatley, and instead of waiting for the bridge, we can bunny hop across this gap. Beautiful. The eye. What about the eye, GLaDOS? What do we need to know about the eye? Alright, Portal 2, like, I feel like mentally, Portal 2, despite being... I feel like all these four ones are, like, equally cool. But, um... I just feed on Portal 2 so much that it's so hard to, like, make it feel invigorating. Is that a word? To make it feel, like, super cool, as much as the other speedruns are to me. I do it sometimes, Goat Legend, yeah. Not too, too often, but I usually do it, like, around corners. It just helps me get some timings down. I can't quite explain why, it's just a really weird habit of my movement. All right, so here, normally, uh, Wheatley would turn on a, uh, a lamp in his head, but by jumping over his railing, we can actually skip that 20 second scene where GLaDOS turns off all the lights and Wheatley turns on a flashlight. Because it usually doesn't even help us because we just use our console commands to make this bright so we can see. And, um, Wheatley is so slow that we never actually use his flashlight, even if we did get it, so. Is the order of the games important? No. I just choose to run them in the order they were released. Half-Life was released in 1998, Half-Life 2, 2004, Portal 2007, Portal 2, 2011. Well, we're just cruising through. This one's actually pretty good. My nose is kind of itchy though, which is uncomfortable. But if I, if I ignore it for like three minutes, I'm sure it'll be fine. So here we're gonna forego the defective turret because similar to the strategy we did in chapter one, the pancake shot where we shot through a door, we're gonna do the exact same thing here because these doors have a hole in them. So if I can do a really precise lineup, we should just be able to... Oh, oh no. If we pull out the template turret, it'll shut down the whole production line. This isn't good. <laughs> we we go again. We go again. Replace this portal. Sometimes it's just so precise. Yeah, you just gotta give it a second try. That's fine. I mean, was there any sort of announcement before I opened? Like a, like a buzzer? Hatched. <laughs> yep. That's the kind of thing that would really aggravate me if I was doing Portal 2 PB attempts, but... Thankfully, this is a no reset, so it's kind of chill. I just itched my nose. I'm giving into temptation. Yes, my real name is Matthew. Matthew Sushi. Is the neurotoxin generator. 
Yoi, technically, if I got a Portal 2 world record, which I am not on pace to do, I could submit it, yes. You can shoot a portal through that door. It's just, while it is solid to the player, it is not solid to the portal gun, so. Chant Evans IRL name is not Andy. Yes, Bevo, I'm currently timing RTA. Since, unless like you want to like manually sum up all the game times, you technically could make it work, but it would be really obnoxious. And since I'm the only person who runs this right now, I make the rules, so. No, Sam. It's kind of even pretty. Yeah, I'd say so. They should take us right to her. I can't believe I'm finally doing this. Woo! <laughs> I knew this would be fun. They told me it wasn't fun at all, so they said it's not fun at all. I, I on, a, on a complete random note, well... I guess this is giving private information that I probably shouldn't, so I will be brief, but can't even- I've seen a picture and can't even and his significant other are very cute together. That's all. I hope I didn't crush the dreams of every can't even viewer in chat, but... There is a picture of me and can't even. I can probably find it on my phone somewhere. I'll find it during the cutscene. Cause uh, we met each other for like three hours at Summer Games Done Quick 2019. Cause what's really funny is that while he had a run, I also had a run. His run was like the second run of the event. So he actually was leaving early. And my run was like on the second to last day. So I arrived late. <laughs> so we had our travel like, our travel aligned just the right time. So that like the morning I arrived, he left in the afternoon. So we just played some video games and ch chilled for a bit, you know. Yes, I ran Half-Life at Summer Games Done Quick 2019. Okay, what was I gonna check? Okay, here, here is the edited picture of me and Ken even at a, a GDQ. Oh, it's pretty hard to see, but... Yeah, that's me and him. We're both very short boys, so. I suppose we could just sit in this room and glare at each other until somebody. It works out. But I have a better idea. It's your old friend, deadly neurotoxin. Yeah, it was a race. I guess if you're gonna watch it later, I won't spoil the race, but it's kind of funny. I know all of my uh, my following at the time also joked about it because. I did not do a lot of Half-Life D-Rust. Literally the day before I left for SGDQ, I got a Celeste any percent PB, so... What's up, Yueki? Are you taller? Yes, I'm like two inches taller than Kenny even, but... Something like that. No, 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 no. Stalemate detected. Transfer Hi, Raven. Cannot continue. Yes. Unless a stalemate associate is present to press the stalemate resolution button. Not so fast. Stalemate resolved. Here we go. Wait, what if this hurts? What if this really hurts? Oh, I didn't think of that. Oh, it will. Believe me, it will. Are you are you just saying that, or is it really gonna hurt? You're just saying that, aren't you? You're just no, you're not. You are. It is gonna hurt, isn't it? I don't know, height is one of like my super small insecurities. But I feel like if I was actually like six foot something, like I'd be more inclined to like work out and like get a super sick body. But instead I just play video games all day. <laughs> and it's it's like, you know, if I ever want to complain, like damn, I should work out, it's like, well, I'm not gonna have a perfect body anyway since I'm a little short, so I guess it's okay. I can settle for whatever. All right, really big skip here. By jumping onto this elevator, I saved two minutes. There we go. Boom. Look 
Thank you. Banam Sushi 100 D press the stalemate resolution button without being a qualified. Stalemate resolution associate. Trooper, I'll have you know I'm a very qualified stalemate resolution associate, okay? <laughs> Thanks so much for the Twitch Prime, dude. I appreciate it so much. Thank you for the continued support. So normally Wheatley has like his manic episode where he's like, wait, I'm the big bad guy now. Let's go. Um, but just by jumping out of the elevator, we can skip it. Yeah. Is this a good time? This is actually pretty good. I think I'm about like 30 seconds behind my PB. If I played the rest of this, if I played the late game really, really well, I could PB. That's probably not going to happen, but I would say this is sub hour pace in game time. Yeah, you can randomly lose three seconds in this chamber. It's really uncommon, but... Uh, Miguel, remind me after stream and I'll do it, yeah. I like butternut ice cream. Is that gonna be the meme now? I like butternut ice cream. You are not under five feet, Cat Princess. You are not. All right, I have a question for everyone in the chat. How are we doing today? Good, good, okay. Vibing pretty meh, certainly doing. Johnny. Johnny is not an adjective. Your thumb hurts, but you're happy, nice. Well, I'm glad the consensus is pretty good. Yeah, it is really, it's been getting really hot the last couple of days. Apparently feeling why people happy. Nice, Ashuri. Nice. Right now we're in an old aperture. While this is thematically, is that a word? Like it's the best themed part of the game. Thematically, I think that's a word. It's also the hardest part of the game in the speed run though, so. We're gonna get that long shot. It is a word, let's go. I am a native English speaker and I still struggle with basic words. Despite being 18 years of age. All right. I think you did Shido, but you know, twice can't hurt. I don't think I have Cheyenne. Your online classes start today? Ooh, I'm sorry to hear that, Miguel. All right, this chamber is kind of nutty. We're gonna come over here to this edge of this fence. We're gonna do a cliff shot, barely shoot that portal. You can't even see the portable surface, but we did shoot a portal on it. And now we're gonna do a specific lineup to hopefully get enough speed. Perfect, get that re-portal. Bounce off this tube to the end elevator. Really nicely done, that was pretty clean. It's one of the hardest chambers in the game. Uro, uh, first of all, all of my parts are fairly new. I just got a new SSD and new RAM. So I guess, if you want to hear all my stat, my specs, I, my processor is a Ryzen 7, uh, 3700X. My graphics card is a RTX 2070. My RAM is Corsair Vengeance. 3,200 megahertz DDR4. That was a cube clip, by the way. Um, 16 gigabytes of that. And I have an M2 SSD from, oh gosh, 8 data, I think? Oh, I have to do this meme. But it's a, it's a Gen 4 SSD. It goes in the M2 port, so it's really fast. So my loads are really good. Speedrun Portal 2 with RTX enabled. Yeah, Ray Tracing Portal 2. Uh-huh. 
I mean, no, the RTX cards are really good. I mean, I said this before because I just upgraded my computer like a month ago. 16 gigabytes of RAM is more than fine. I did two years worth of streaming with eight gigabytes of RAM. Like literally until a month ago, I had eight gigabytes of RAM, <laughs> so. Yeah, 16 is more than fine for what I do. Ah, heck. Let's, uh... If I can get this reportal, that would be great. There we go. I've never heard this late into the dialogue. Okay, there we go. What kind of music do I listen to? Oh, I listen to a lot. Well, I actually don't listen to a lot of music, but in terms of genre, I listen to a lot. Um, I like, like, rock and pop rocky kind of stuff, and a little bit of indie stuff, too. But I can kind of vibe with whatever. I have a hidden, I have a hidden like love for like lo, not lo-fi, but like kind of chill, instrumental music. Now, if you're part of control group Kepler Seven, so. we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely, you've forgotten it's even there. Nice. If it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test. Stuck once here by getting stuck between this pipe and this beam. We'll gain a lot of speed, and when we bounce off of the jet, Okay, need to make sure I didn't fall over there. There we go. I mean, yeah, I guess RAM isn't, like... From, in comparison to when I upgraded my computer, like... When I bought RAM recently, it was like... Well, I got special RAM because I wanted to make sure it worked with my Ryzen... With my motherboard that has an AM4 socket. Because most RAMs are... The, the proper speeds are vetted for um, the Intel motherboards, but sometimes they just don't work without overclocking on AMD motherboards. AMD chipsets, that is. Um, heck. This is awkward. So, I mean, you can get, like, 16 gigabytes for, like, 60-something US dollars. And when I first built my computer, like, that's how much 8 gigabytes of RAM costed, so... She is a gem. I mean, no, maybe not when I built my first computer, but when I did my first upgrade... I'm Cave Johnson, CEO of when I first built my computer, it had DDR3. <laughs> so... Show velocity is allowed, goat. Okay, okay seam shot to the end of the level. Perfect. Carolyn, are the compensation vouchers ready? Yes, sir, Mr. Yeah, like now it feels really good because my computer is super beefed out. Because before? Well, before I had 8 gigabytes of DDR4 2400 mega clocked at 2400 megahertz. And I had like a Gen 1 SATA SSD. So I could do anything I want to, but there were some performance issues. Or if you're interested in an additional <laughs> Those aren't even the most important specs. I had a an RX 570 graphics card. And I had a Ryzen 5 2600. So I could reasonably run anything, but usually not at the best graphics, depending on, for most modern stuff, not at the best graphics, and I'd have some performance problems. Um, but now, I can like run whatever I want, it's great, it's great. But I like, don't have to worry about it. What's the command for show velocity? CL underscore show pause one. Jinja, technically yes, you should include Left 4 Deads, but um... You should also include the Half-Life episodes. I'm just calling it the Valve series run because that's the most convenient name. These are just the four most popular Valve games that are speed ran. I'd like to learn more games and incorporate them, but for right now, this is uh, a lot of fun to run. And Valve series was just the best name I had for it. It's not meant to be all-inclusive. I know I'm missing a lot of games, but it's fine. This is a really big skip, by the way. Um, it's a really cool skip, too, if I get it. We're gonna... I don't even know why I'm explaining this. Exclamation point lemons in the chat will explain it for you. Uh, that's not gonna work. 
I got memed and it ended up not working in my favor. Now this isn't working. Oh dear. We're just gonna try reshooting this. Oh, uh, this is not working. I'm trying to get stuck in this wall and it's not letting me. Okay, I'm just going to try redoing this if this doesn't work again. Yeah. We start from square one. That kind of sucks. That's a lot of time loss, but it's okay. Much better. And this time I got the meme. Okay. <laughs> That's the strat. It obviously doesn't save time when you take a minute to do it, but it saves 20 seconds if you get it on the first try, so it's pretty cool. I almost missed that strafe because I was falling asleep at the wheel. Thank you, chat, for spamming the lemons quote. Really helps me out. Right, this chamber is pretty cool, too. We're going to do a stock launch there and bounce off that gel. We're going to shoot a portal here. And we're going to try to slope off of this pipe here to preserve our speed into this portal surface. Do a fling over to the button. Nice. Now, after we trigger the vault opening. See you, Ken, man. It's good to see you. We're going to set up a super re-portal setup that'll skip an elevator. So if we do everything correctly, we'll get over here. And we should get stuck in the ground. Perfect. Awesome three gels. And we'll shoot up, get a ton of speed, land right over this invisible wall, and now we're on to chapter eight. What countries have you visited? I have visited... Canada and France. And the U.S., but I live in the U.S., so... I'm trying to think. Or, I have been to the Bahamas on a cruise, but... Canada and France. What's up, Atme? Croissant and maple syrup land, ah, uh, yes. That's funny, is it? Oh, it's funny, because we've been in this for 12 hours, and you haven't solved it either, so I don't know why you're laughing. You've got one hour. Solve it. Throwing that cube on that button skips a 50-second cutscene where Wheatley talks. Or I get this, this itch, you know? It must be hardwired into the system or something. Oh, jeez, Atme, that does not sound fun. Yes, I did go to France for the Barrier Speedrun show. It was incredible. It was my first time traveling alone. And it was my first time traveling to Europe. It was my first time traveling to a country where the native language isn't English. It was a lot of firsts. But it was crazy. It was, again, truly a once-in-a-lifetime experience. When I went to France, it was all expense-paid trip. And I actually won money, and I got to play video games in front of a huge crowd. I, I was in a portal glitchless race, and I ended up winning 4,000 euros for coming in first place, which is awesome. Okay, new tests, new tests. Gotta be some tests around here somewhere. Yeah, we can interrupt Wheatley there by walking to that door at a certain time. I've already said hi to everyone like three times the stream at me, come on. Get with the times. <laughs> no, I'm, that wasn't an invitation to say hi to me. Chat, please. This might not work. Okay, the excursion funnel crouch fly glitch. Basically, go into the console, type in SV Sheets 1, and then type noclip. 
is what the haters in the comments would want you to think. The game has a variable that keeps track of how many funnels you are in. So if you're in one funnel, that value is one. If you're in two, it's in, it's on two. The rule is if that value is one or greater, it gives you zero gravity. If it's zero, then you have normal gravity. For some reason, when you crouch while in a funnel, if you crouch at just the right conditions, that value in game will actually increment another reason. The, will increment for no reason. The game will think that you just entered another funnel. And as a result, it will put that value to 2, and then when you leave the funnel, it'll go down to 1. So despite not being in a funnel at all, the game still thinks we're in a funnel, so it thinks we should have zero gravity. Oh my god, chat. Okay, hello to Twitch chat. Is that good enough? I'm not- I'm not listing out names right now while I'm gaming. I, I do need to stay focused at the end of this run. Wouldn't want to have any chokes now, would we? And there we go. <laughs> oh. I need to go in the elevator right away. I don't know why I'm waiting. What's up, Toxicity? Sub 3, hopefully, Duhon. But you only said hi to me once! I know, what a struggle. So that last test was seriously disappointing. Apparently, being civil... It's not enough! If I'm such a moron, why can't you solve a simple test? You could just say hi 130 times. Yeah, I mean, I have the viewer list, so while I see you guys in the chat, I see everyone whose Twitch accounts are currently watching the stream. How would you feel if I just said hi to everyone on that list? Great shot. People are probably just like lurking watching the stream and they're like, wait, did he just say my name? What? Oh, what, what was that? That was nothing. That was nothing. I mean, I literally couldn't do it because... Hold on. Thanks for the 100 bits, Oro, but I'm not gonna do it. On my, uh, on my viewer list right now, since obviously I... I'm so famous and I have so many viewers. Oh my god. Um, the list right now, I can only see down to the C's. They're listed in alphabetical order, all the viewers, so. I'm not gonna do it. I, you guys, stop giving me money. But Atme and Evelyn, thank you for giving me the 100 bits each. I appreciate it. Did you guys seriously just keep trigger a scam train 10 minutes before the scam train should actually happen? God, you know there's a cooldown on those, right? I hate you guys. I'm not gonna do it! Dude, the way the text of speech says do it is so funny to me too, and I don't know why. Inflame, thank you for the 500 bits. At me more bits, thanks for the 100 bits. Evelyn, thank you. Evelyn, thank you for the 100 bits. At me, thank you for the 100 bits. If you guys could cool it down, I'd appreciate it. Do it. <laughs> Do it. She sounds so rushed when she's saying it. The the AI. Oh, this isn't gonna work. <laughs> why is this? Oh, that portal's bad. That's why. I don't know why I'm struggling so much with this. Thank you for the 100 more bits at me. Jesus, you, you can calm down now. I give you permission. Stop giving me money. <laughs> Oh my god. Thank you again for the 100 bits at me. I'm just gonna stop reading these until the end of the run, I'm gonna be honest. Oh, you're alive. Great. Yeah, just uh, getting a uh, test ready. 
for you, obviously. Who else would I be doing it for? Let's just get the sub so, three. Let's see here. Exit, exit, exit. There is no exit. Not a problem. I'll just I'll make an exit. Your... Everyone hates money? True. All my homies hate money. Hi, Peabody. I'm coming with you, dude. Save me a spot in the elevator. I thought I had lost you. We're poking around for other test subjects. No luck there. Everyone's still dead. Oh, I did find something though. Reminds me. I've got a big surprise for you two. What is the game in game time? It's right here, actually, as a matter of fact. It's probably gonna be like uh high 100. I don't know. Somewhere around there. High 100, low 101. Yo, Aro, thank you so much for the tier one sub. I appreciate it, dude. Welcome to the sushi bar. <laughs> thank you so much for the support. Enjoy the badge and the emotes. Okay, this crouch that we're gonna get here is the most important crouch fight in the game. Do it. Stop. Uh, we're gonna get this crouch fight, and we're actually gonna preserve it into chapter nine. And that's gonna be huge because we're gonna skip a lot of small cutscenes. Do it. I'm not. I'm not gonna do it. I don't know why I ever think out loud with you guys. I just gotta say a really dumb idea, and then you guys just give me money and say do it. <sighs> yeah, since we have the crouch fly instead of going on the faith plate and going in the funnel, we're gonna skip it because that wall is actually not solid. So we're just gonna fly around and we're gonna be able to skip talking to Wheatley when he explains that this is the part where he kills you. Twitch also not TOS, you can have multiple Twitch accounts. Do it. Stop. <laughs> Stop. I'm not gonna do it. Land on that edge, but that's fine. I'm just gonna do a jump. Okay. Yeah, since we have a uh, zero gravity. Do it. It would be against TOS to have multiple accounts that get ads from bits. <clears throat> Thank you. Um, yeah, so right here, this huge thing, we normally have to wait for it to block our path, and we'll go inside it. But since we have crouch fly, we can just go around it. And I did lose control, which kind of sucks, but oh well. Okay, I barely missed that, but I have a decent backup. Hit our head on here. Come down here. Okay, cool. Now we're just gonna try to fly by these turrets. Tis but a scratch. Alright, so at the end of this chamber, we are going to lose the crouch fly glitch. Yeah, this wall is not slow because it's meant to fall apart, but we actually... We skipped the trigger that makes it fall apart, so it just kind of stays there motionless. And by tapping this funnel, we now lose the crouch fly glitch. And it's, uh, it's on to the last map of the Valve series speedrun. Alright, just the Wheatley boss fight. Everybody likes revenge. Well, let's go get some. I have a lot of leeway for sub three, so this shouldn't be a problem. Let me just flag something up. This uh this should be it. Yay! 
I'm pretty sure it's a problem with the light. I think the light's on the blink, but just in case it isn't, I am actually going to have to kill you, um, as discussed earlier. So let's call that three minutes and then a minute break, but we should leave allegedly two minutes to figure out how to shut down whatever is starting all the fires. So anyway, that's the itinerary. Also, I took the liberty of watching- I'm going to try to do a basher box. And I'm, I'm going to try. Four part plan is this. And we're going to get a soft lock? That's never happened before. Start the neurotoxin immediately. Three. Bomb-proof shields for me, leading directly onto number four. Four for throwing at you. Do you know what? This plan is so good. I'm, I'm going to give you a sporting chance and turn off the neurotoxin. I'm joking, of course. Good one. Neurotoxin level at capacity. All right. Let's do this boss fight. Should only take like two more minutes. That sounded real. No, that was actually an impression of you. Because you just fell into my trap, my brilliant trap. Just then, I wanted you to. Ah! Alright, so we're gonna try to juggle the bombs here by keeping those bombs in a circle. Or in kind of in a portal loop. That way we don't have to wait for Wheelie to shoot out more bombs. Because it takes time to shoot out bombs, you know? Warning. Core corruption at 50%. Vent system compromised. Neurotoxin offline. Reactor explosion in four. Oh. What? What happened? Ah! Okay, great. Here comes another core. Quick, it's a situation. Oh. Hey. All right. Core One more core to go, and then we're in the clear. Reactor explosion timer destroyed. Reactor explosion uncertainty emergency preemption protocol initiated. This facility will self destruct in two minutes. Enough! I told you not to put these cores on. Oh, wait, I'm. Um... Oh, that's fine. <laughs> one more core. All right, and just one more trick left. We're gonna shoot the moon early by doing a very precise lineup. Right before you get blown up, you can actually shoot the moon, and it saves about 16 seconds if you get it. So. Corrupted core. Are you ready to start? But this looks like sub three by a mile. In the bag. Yeah, by spamming portals on the conversion gel while it disappears, they'll be able to keep one on. Stalemate resolution associate. Please press the stalemate resolution button. Do not there we go. Half-Life, Half-Life 2, Portal, and Portal 2 completed in 2 hours, 58 minutes, and 9 seconds. Dang, that feels good. <laughs> Sub three, hooray. Nice. Thank you so much, Evelyn, for the bits. We golded every single game. Do it, I mean, he did IT, but do it. <laughs> Thank you, Aunt Mick. Yeah, so there you go. Valve's four most popular games that, that are single player. Valve's four most popular single, single player campaigns all beaten under three hours. Pretty cool. That is That was my goal, so I'm very happy to get it.